Hello YouTube, this is Richard, founder of shorttermrentalsecrets.com and Airbnb Superhost. On this episode, I want to talk about a newsletter that I just received via email yesterday talking about the major impact that short-term rentals is having on the Hamptons in the east end of Long Island, which is really the creme de la creme and like the New York City elite playground. So if you don't know the Hamptons, that's what it is. It's where everybody goes, everybody summers, it's a huge scene, super expensive real estate, super expensive rentals, and guess what? Short-term rentals is having a major impact on that market, something that I forecast and I've witnessed myself and I've talked about it on other videos. So a little bit of a backstory, uh, I started my real estate investment career, if you will, in 1998. I bought a f my very first property was a rental property, an investment property in the Hamptons. I resided in New York City. I had a job in New York City. I was living in a rental apartment and my very first real estate purchase was a vacation home or a second home or an investment home in the Hamptons. And back then I rented it out seasonally, which was Memorial Day through Labor Day. And if I did that properly, that covered all of my expenses for the entire year. So that was sort of the very beginnings of my real estate investment. Subsequent to that, I've now purchased, it's got to be six or seven different homes in the Hamptons and I've flipped and I've renovated and I've bought. Currently I own two homes. Um, and so I know the market really, really well. And I also know the trends and I also understand what's happening with short-term rentals and the impact. And I want to share with you what Corcoran Realty has to say about short-term rentals and their impact in the Hamptons. Okay, so now I'm gonna to read to you what the newsletter says. A lot of you have many questions as to what is going on with the rental market, and many of us are concerned as to why their homes are getting few to no showings. Needless to say, the market is shifting indeed, and here are a few reasons as to why. The majority of the people coming out to the East End are leaning more towards short-term rentals, more of a one week here or a two weeks there scenario. The Memorial Day to Labor Day rentals have seriously declined due to the fact that there is a huge amount of inventory and rental prices have become inflated. With that, renters have to put down hefty security and utility deposits and dining out and grocery prices are over the top. We are seeing that people are expanding their searches and escaping to less expensive neighborhoods in and around upstate New York, the Adirondacks, or anywhere off the beaten path where they foresee a value. Another contributing factor has been the rise of websites such as Airbnb, HomeAway, etc. They have become enormously popular with renters looking for these short-term rentals. I do not encourage these sites as you the landlords are not able to thoroughly screen your tenants and there have been many horror stories of badly damaged homes that I personally have witnessed myself. Even though Wall Street and the stock market are historic highs, this is not translating into an abundance of real estate rentals and sales on the east end of Long Island. There's a lack of consumer confidence with the state of our current administration and people will simply not overspend. So I have a slightly different take on what's going on here versus what the newsletter writer thinks. First off, I think people are getting accustomed to short-term rentals outside of the Hamptons. So whether they go stay at a villa in St. Bart's or they go to Europe or they go wherever, the concept of renting for a shorter period of time, whether it be a week or two weeks or whatever, is now like commonplace and in their reality. And so even though in the Hamptons it's technically illegal to rent for a shorter period of time, there are legal ways to do it. I think it's a two week minimum, depending on what community you're in within the Hamptons. So my point is there are legal ways and there are illegal ways. But I think the biggest shift is the consumer's mindset, which says I can still go on vacation and I don't have to pay for all the time that I'm not going to use it. The concept of paying for something that you're not going to use sort of goes out the window and it seems excessive. Even though renting it short term might cost you more money per night or more money for the two weeks or you could get a month for the same price, whatever it is, it just seems excessive. And so consumer behavior is changing where people say, I'm willing to pay for what I want for the period of time that I want it, but that's what I want. And so even though it may not be technically legal in the Hamptons and you can't actually do that in the Hamptons, these same people travel the world and do this everywhere else. And so their mind shift has changed and nobody's looking for Memorial Day to Labor Day as they did historically. And I think the bigger question here is something that Airbnb and all these short-term rental sites are wrestling with, with communities all over the world is, what gives? Like, how does this all work? Clearly consumers want it, consumers demand it, generally speaking that wins. So I think the communities are all trying to figure out like how do we 
protect the community and the neighborhood and safety and all of the concerns that the communities have, but there's no question that short-term rentals and like the consumer demand is going to win eventually. The question is, how long does it take and what does it look like in the end? But if you own homes in communities that are restrictive, you owe it to yourself to figure out what you can do legally and do it legally. Don't just sit there and not rent your home because you're trying to like do things the way you did two decades ago. The times, they are changing, my friends. So I hope you found this interesting. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave us your comments and feedback. That's what helps us understand what's you know resonating and where we should spend more time and energy on these videos. We're now releasing these videos three times a week and uh, we love it. And the reason we do it is to help you be better hosts, build a better community, and to put more money in your pocket. So until then, happy hosting, and I'm signing off. See you soon.